and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we would be dealing with problems on ratio and proportion. Ratio and proportion is a very frequently asked topic in various bank exams, government body exams and exams for an entry into a B school. Now in this video, we have tried to cover almost all the concepts from the chapter ratio and proportion. And by the end of this video, you would be in a comfortable position while dealing with problems from this chapter. So let's get started. The first question. Anupam and Ashish together have 200 rupees. If 3 by 7 of Anupam's amount is equal to 4 by 5 of Ashish's amount, how much amount does Ashish have? We know the total amount is 200 rupees, but we don't know how much Anupam has and how much Ashish has. So we would assume Anupam and Ashish shares would be should be x and y respectively so 3 by 7 anupam is equal to 4 by 5 ashish so 3 by 7 x would be equal to 4 by 5 y so x would be 4 by 5 into 7 by 3 y we get x is equal to 28 by 15 y so x is to y so ratio would be 28 is to 15 now we can clearly calculate y from this y is equal to 15 upon 28 plus 15 that is 43 into 200 that is the total amount. So Y's share, that is Ashish's share would be 69.76 rupees. Second question. A sum of money is to be distributed among four people. W, X, Y, Z. In the proportion 6 is to 3 is to 8 is to 4. If Y get rupees 1600 more than Z, what is X share? Now, the share, we assume the share of W, X, Y, Z to be 6X, 3X, 3X, 8x and 4x and as the second statement of the question says that y gets rupees 1600 more than z so we have denoted y by 8x and we have denoted z by 4x so 8x minus 4x is equal to 1600 according to the second statement of the question so 4x is equal to 1600 we get x is equal to 400 now we need to find out x here so we have denoted x as 3x so 3x is equal to 3 into 400 we will bring in the value of x into in this 3x so the share of x would be 1200 third question the ratio of number of boys and girls in the class is 7 is to 4 if the percentage increase in the number of boys and the girls be 30 and 12 20 percent respectively what will be the new ratio now we know that the ratio between boy and girl is 7 is to 4 so we assume the number of boys and girls to be 7x and 4x respectively. Now there is 30% increase in the number of boys and 20% increase in the number of girls. So the increased number would be 130% of 7x and 120% of 4x. So 130 upon 100 into 7x and 120 upon 100 into 4x. So that would be equal to 91 upon 10x and 48 upon 10x. So the required ratio would be 91x upon 10 is to 48x upon 10. That is 91 is to 48. Now question number 4. If 25% of a number is equal to 3 fourth of another number, what is the ratio of first number to second number? Now we don't know the number so we would assume both the different numbers to be x and y respectively. So 25% of the number first number is 3 fourth of the another number so 25 percent of x would be 3 by 4 of y so 25 upon 100 x is equal to 3 by 4 y so we get the ratio as x is equal to 3 by x by y is equal to 3 by 1 that is 3 is to 1 would be the answer fifth question anupam had some coins there are coins of rupees 1, rupees 2 and rupees 5 denomination in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. Now if total money is 80, then we have to find out how many rupee 5 coins are there with Anupam. Now we have assumed that rupee 1, rupee 2 and rupee 5 coin be x, 2x and 3x respectively. Just because the ratio of the, of the number of the coins is 1 is to 2 is to 3. So the number of coin we have assumed as x, 2x and 3x for 1, 2 and 5 rupee denomination coins. Now what would be the sum of their value? There are x number of coins of rupees 1. So x into 1 that is x. There are 2x number of coins 
of rupees 2 so 2x into 2 there are 3x number of coins of rupees 5 denomination so 5 into 3x so it would be x plus 4x plus 15x that is 20x now we need to find out how much total amount is present with anuma so it is 80 so 20x would be equated to 80 now x we will get as 80 by 20 is equal to 4 that means now we can find out the number of 5 rupee coins so we readily know that there are 2x number of 5 rupees coins no sorry 3x number of 5 rupees coins so 3 into 4 3 into 4 that is 12 so we have found out that how many 5 rupee coins are there now this is how we try and solve the questions in ratio and proportion it's all about deducing the information from the question and then going on and solving that question I hope this video would prove useful to everyone who is watching it. Thank you.